I didn't expect to find the world savior alone on Christmas Eve. Sai. Can I talk to you for a minute? Of course. First off, thank you for taking my request. With your actions, I can only hope that public opinion changes. It will change, won't it? I certainly hope so. We're gonna find out, aren't we? True. It was social reform on a scale no one has ever accomplished before. But I believe that it will. Shido confessed to a variety of crimes. We can arrest him on those charges. The problem lies in proving him guilty. It'd be difficult unless the correlation between the metaverse and the mental shutdowns is made. I hate Akechi, to break- who perpetrated those crimes, has gone missing. You're the only ones left who can testify. I hate to break this to you, but the metaverse probably doesn't exist anymore. And Akechi is probably dead. Probably, that's not guaranteed. I'll be blunt. I want you to turn yourself in to the police. What? Why? Your testimony will be necessary in order to prove Shido guilty. However... That will mean placing you on center stage. You'll be treated as a hero who saved this country. But there's no way that the police or the public prosecutors will let that slide. They'll lose face to you and the Phantom Thieves. If that happens, there's no telling what they'll do to you or your teammates. There's even the possibility that they'll fabricate a crime and move to arrest you all. If you turn yourself into the police, you'll definitely be arrested. And there's your past record. The police and prosecution will strike there. They'll treat your arrest as grave misconduct and revoke your probation. You'll most likely be sent to Juvenile Hall and placed in solitary confinement. I do hate people. They'll be content as long as they get a testimony without the Phantom Thieves being hailed as heroes. That should guarantee the safety of your teammates. Or rather, I'll make sure it's guaranteed. I'll close all the cases surrounding Shido. I intend to expose them all. It's to prevent society from becoming distorted again. That's what you want too, isn't it? We succeeded in changing only, not only Shido's heart, but that of the general public as well. The, to the cognitive metaverse has disappeared too, along with that malevolent god. However, it sounds like my testimony is necessary for them to find Shido guilty. But there's no knowing what the police would do if they'd never let a phantom thief be the hero. Having said that, my testimony would at least keep my teammates safe. They'd know I was acting out of line under probation, though. This might be the only way to ensure all our efforts don't go to waste. This is almost like a final deal between the two of us. I'll ask you once more. I'd like for you to turn yourself into the police of your own accord. If it'll help reform society, Thank you. I had a feeling you'd say that. Leave the rest to us. All right, let's go. Can it wait till tomorrow so I can at least hang out with my friends one more night? No? Fine. From Sojiro. Something wrong? I need a little more time. Very well. You can turn yourself in tomorrow morning. What are you up to? I just got a message from Futaba saying she'll be coming over. Hurry up and come help us at the store. Alright. Oh, I'll be waiting for you. I should head home.
the same every year. So much for business. Nobody's gonna come to this rundown cafe. Dude, Christmas? Most people want to spend time with their families. Guess I'll close early then. Not that I have the money to go out anywhere. Then we should have a party here! Come on, Sojiro! I want a turkey! A little bit late for that, don't you think? Didn't you hear me? I don't have the cash. Shido's goddamn henchmen. They really had to come in here and wreck my business. I got a hundred thousand yen, we can use that. I'm going to prison, so put it to use. I should send him a bill. Anyway, if you're here, I take it you're spending this Christmas alone? Uh, turkey is my one true love. Exactly! <laughs> you too. <laughs> He's Sojiro! Turkey! I can spring for the turkey, you know. Look, I can't spend what I don't have. Aww. We'll just have to pitch in. I can't believe I've got a kid worrying about my financial situation. Hey, Futaba. Go buy some candy or something. We'll have that party after all. Me some turkey. I don't know if there's enough there for that. <laughs> no way that's gonna be enough. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Futaba's like a totally different person now. I think she'll be alright. Hey, how have you been doing? I could use some loving. <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about. The Phantom Thieves are the talk of the town. What are you gonna do? Did Nijima say anything to you? If that happens, there's no telling what they'll do to you or your teammates. There's even the possibility that they'll fabricate a crime and move to arrest you all. Anything at all? Don't worry. Look, I know I'm on the outside, looking in on this whole situation. But we've got to be able to rely on each other when the going gets tough. The world has a lot of opinions about you guys. But I don't think you were in the wrong. Honestly, I've got to thank you. Not like this is really returning the favor, but I'll keep you safe till March rolls around. <laughs> it feels kind of weird actually wanting to act as your guardian. Well, you don't have to say anything you don't want to, but remember, I'm on your side. That's all I've got to say. I'm back! Hey, welcome home. Did you get a turkey? Like I could buy one with that pocket change you gave me, sheeple Sojiro. <laughs> You're adorable. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Come on, let's order out. For real? Yay, Sojiro! And I could use some takeout. I want pizza! Yeah, pizza's nice and all, but how about some wonton? And I want to see some poor fool in a Santa costume delivering it. <laughs> You're a bit demented, Futaba. I like that. That's not very nice. <laughs> anyway, let's us loners have a bit of fun, huh? Well, they are in Japan, so they probably would do that. but I'm not like you two. Sorry then, non-loners don't get to eat. <laughs> you kids never shut up, do you? Same goes for you, Sojiro. I'm making the right choice. This is the only way. Santa does exist. The public prosecutor's office finally decided today to break its long-standing silence. It seems there was consensus to try Representative Shido for the countless crimes he confessed. 
Furthermore, many demands have been made for Representative Shido to resign from his public position. Nationwide protests have begun in support of holding new elections, and an internet... I'm surprised so much changed in just one night. It's pretty impressive. But the kids... Merry Christmas! <laughs> huh? Why do you look so down? What are you crying about, Futaba? You guys get in a fight or something? Hey, Ryuji. What's up with this gloomy vibe? Where's our Read guy? Read the room. Mako-chan, what's wrong? Um... It's okay. I'll explain. What the hell?! I don't comprehend. The hero who saved this nation is now living in Juvenile Hall? Yep. It's just how the system works. Don't let it get to you. Someone want to get me a lawyer? I did my best to discuss the options, but nothing I said could change the outcome. Damn it! This can't be happening! Are we supposed to just agree to this? I can't do that! Me neither! I must object as well. Wanting to interrogate him makes sense, but the measures following were questionable at best. All that crap about his record and probation was bullshit! He didn't do any of that! Oh no, I did knock the fuck out of Shido. That's that, that is, that is, there's no getting around that. I knocked the fuck out of Shido. Won't everything just cancel out if Shido tells the whole truth? Not necessarily. If you can't prove it, and it's not like the nav exists anymore. That won't be enough. Remember what my sister said before? In order to overturn a sentence, you need definitive evidence that proves the subject's innocence. Evidence? How are we gonna find anything like that? I mean... The police were in on all that crap, too. So any proof they got's probably been destroyed. Futaba. Is there any way you can use your computer to find information? I'll do what I can, but don't put too much faith in it. It's not some kind of almighty device. The metaverse doesn't exist anymore either. Boss, Probably. can't you think of another means by which we can help him? Probably doesn't exist. I wonder what Mona-chan would say if he were here right now. He'd likely laugh and tell us how foolish we all are. And he would say it in that high and mighty tone of his. That guy was real annoying. Now that he's gone, it feels... You know, I guess we really did count on him a lot. The hope of humanity. I wish I could do something to help our leader. Be ashamed of us sitting around here moping like this. Exactly. Give me a goddamn lawyer. Please. Honestly, I don't know what we should do. But if we give up, we'll never save him. Didn't he save all of you? If we aren't gonna act now, when will we? Get a me a lawyer. Phoenix Wright. Anyone, even Ace. Come on, lawyer. We gotta do something. Yeah, now's not the time to be hanging our heads. Hmm, what can we do without using the metaverse? Get a lawyer! Maybe we'll be able to find something if we search around. Like a lawyer? Let's just calm down and think about it. We've escaped death countless times before. There's no doubt we can do this. A lawyer would help. That's right, let's go! gonna save our leader no matter what it takes take my damn money and hire a lawyer please I <laughs> <course>. <laughs> uh, all right we will now begin the interrogation I want a lawyer so you acted as the leader of the phantom thieves that undermined our society is that correct we saved society 
What you thought you were doing doesn't matter now. Moving on. You committed a number of crimes. Illegal entry into Madarame residence in Okumura Foods. Yes, destruction of property. I don't remember any of that. And the broadcast signal intrusion the other day was in violation of the radio law. Well, that wasn't me. There were other infractions as well. On top of all that, you have a past history of crime, correct? And I didn't. Your transport to Juvenile Hall has been decided. You will transfer, we will transfer you in the coming days. Whoa! My support just dropped. Whoa, it just went all the way to the end of the week. Just look at them all party down there. They don't even know. <laughs> Guess that's fine. I wish he... he could be here with us. That said, we have our cellular phones, yes? Was there truly a need to meet? Our next move's important. We gotta get pumped! <laughs> Besides, don't you think it's nice talking in person? New Year's Eve. It seems rowdier this year, doesn't it? We'll need to brace ourselves. I'm going to try contacting my father's associates. Yeah, sounds good to me. Sounds like we're set. We must succeed, no matter the cost. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let's do this. Why you with the Kumar Affairs? I kind of just walked in the door, a, po a main port of entry. So... That's not breaking and entering. Misdemeanor trespassing at the <laughs> worst. Really? Now that we know the name and all we need is an address. You're right. You're right. We'll succeed if we do this together. Sis has yet to say anything, but I believe she's looking into possible actions as well. As for me, I will look into every viable solution. Thank you. Make sure you give my regards to Shio-san. Yes. Mm-hmm. We'll talk again tomorrow. Let's save him, no matter what. Velvet room? <laughs> Magnificent! What's up, Gremlin? But... You're confined in reality now. Even after you escape the prison within your heart. Wait a minute, isn't the Velvet Room in the Metaverse? It is in the Metaverse. The Metaverse is still a thing. What an ironic turn of events because you wished for the fortune of others over your own well-being. Power of friendship. Still, it will do. You chose the correct path with your own volition. You did not compromise your beliefs for personal gain to the very end. The last arcana you have taken hold of is the world. It is the willpower to stand up in this world on your own feet, unswayed by no one. That will become the basis of hope toward a future with your teammates who share the same belief. Now that you've gained that power, you are no longer an existence that wanders alone. My own duties end here as well. It's clear the cognitive powers or whatever powers for Persona users still exist. You were truly a remarkable guest. And you have been... and... 
You've been pleasant, but that Yaldabaoth guy was a fucking asshole. What a shitty host. So where are you gonna pop up next? a little bit all the way to the 13th interesting long time no see you're gonna get me a lawyer lady I have two great pieces of news for you today first we finally managed to prosecute Masayo Shishido He'll likely be found guilty. Great. And my lawyer? I'm grateful for your cooperation with the trial. Your testimony proved to be very useful. You're welcome. Where's my lawyer? Well, I'm glad to hear that. Where is my lawyer? To be frank, it seemed almost hopeless at one point. But thanks to the civil protests, some of the more indecisive prosecutors came to our side. It will likely be some more time until the hearing begins, but this is the first step to true change. The only charges right now are for breaking election laws, breaking funding control laws, and bribery. I knew that proving the Metaverse's existence would be difficult, but I still find myself dissatisfied. Yeah, the whole Metaverse thing, it still probably exists. But it probably doesn't. We don't know. Shido did admit to all of his crimes, though, including everything you know about. Now for the other piece of good news. As of today, you'll be free to go. I get to leave? That's right. Shido's confession brought light to the truth of your case. We were able to prove your innocence in the original assault charge that led to your arrest. Your sentence will no doubt be rescinded. You're a free man. The others did everything they could for you. Bringing in the woman who was the victim in your case as a witness was the turning point. Oh, brilliant. And that wasn't all. An unbelievable amount of support has come in from various other places as well. To think they'd be able to track down someone involved in a case from well over a year ago. Don't doubt my friends. Regardless. The righteous phantom thieves are gone. All that remains is for us adults to lead society in the right direction. Good luck with that. Then again, I have to wonder if you believe what I say. Uh, I kind of trust you. I suppose I'll have to do my best so that you can believe in me in full someday. Still, I'm glad I was able to save you in court. I've never felt so happy in my entire life. I'm not quite sure how to put it, but saving your future meant more to me than my own career. I feel like you even taught me how to live. Awesome. You're exaggerating. <laughs> that's not true. By the way, there's something that's been on my mind. What did the treasure of my world turn out to be? I... why do you want to know? I suppose it doesn't matter now one way or the other. There is... one more thing. I haven't even told Makoto about this. But I realized something after meeting all of you. My most prized treasure is the justice I use to protect those important to me. Makoto helped show me that as well. Once the Shido case is settled, I'm thinking of quitting my job and becoming a defense lawyer. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Awesome. Defense. Uh, you wanted to take on my case? I wanted to reform the system, but I'll have to leave that to someone else. 
Going forward, I want to enact justice not for myself, but for the sake of others. <laughs> well then, I need to go submit the paperwork for your release. Oh, that reminds me. May I ask you one final thing? Well, you just did. According to your testimony, you could have stopped after taking Kamoshida down, couldn't you? Why did you continue acting as the Phantom Thieves? Perhaps I'm thinking too much into this, but... A thief who justly stole the hearts of others, and a criminal who controlled them for his own gain. It seems your destiny has been tied to Shido's for some time. And now it's finally settled. Doesn't this seem a little too perfect? It's almost as though someone planned it all. She has a point. Had I not encountered Shido back at the hotel, the Phantom Thieves may not have continued on. Could it be that this was your goal from the very beginning? It was all a game. A game. That's quite a fitting response for you. But a pretty damn good one and to boot. Now seriously guys, if you ever get the chance to pick this up, do so. It's awesome. You know, this job has shown me my fair share of criminals and convicts. But if young people like you exist in this world, maybe things aren't as hopeless as they seem. I'm sorry for rambling. I shouldn't keep that man waiting for too long. Thank you again for everything you've done. See you later. Kept me waiting. Jeez. You son of a bitch. To be honest, I didn't really want to come. But for time, like just hat. didn't stop bugging me. Anyway, you're a free man now, aren't you? <laughs> and it'd look bad on me if you did something again under my watch. Oh, that's the wrong button. All right, let's go home. It's cold, so get in quick. I didn't know I could pause cutscenes. For some reason, I thought it was chat, not a cutscene. Dialogue, I meant to say. It's not moving at all. Oh, this brings back memories. Due to the railway incident this morning, widespread delays have impacted the various lines and... Another accident, huh? <laughs> Reminds me of that day back in April. Remember when we went to introduce you at the school? All too well. Almost been a whole year since then. Hmm. Thinking back, that was pretty awful to you. Throwing you in that storage room all by yourself. Then again, soon you're gonna be. Made some great friends here. You better thank them when we get back, alright? Always the quiet one, Joker. Woohoo! Namaste! Whoa! Uh, you did it! You did it! It has been a while. Not bad. You look fine. I'm glad you seem well. Come sit over here. I gotta head out and grab some groceries. I'm sure you guys have plenty to talk about. Man, it went well, yeah? It did, actually. I'm so glad we didn't give up. This was certainly worth the effort. 
We didn't know what to do once you were gone. But then we realized something. What? Even if we don't have the metaverse or any other special powers, we can still change reality. We were running around everywhere we could since the new year. It must have been over a month. Not just us. Everyone who believed in you joined us. Thanks to that, we've got our leader back. You saved me. <laughs> right back at ya. They treated you fine, right? <laughs> Actually, did you lose some weight? It would be understandable. I have heard the food in prison is quite foul. So, what did you eat? Was it bugs? Fermented mackerel? Or maybe durian? Apparently dur- I don't even know if durian's good or bad. You're missing the point. Eh, you're gonna get some good food soon enough, though. I miss curry. Boss is out getting stuff for our party right now. Come on, everyone's back together. It's time to celebrate. Everyone. Well, not quite everyone. Yeah. Right. Morgana. He may have been the key person on this whole mission. We even considered what he would do when we were about to give up. Mona totally would have done something, right? That cat would never quit on you. He was always there to pull us forward. Morgana truly was the engine of the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> he was a car after all! I want to see Mona again. We all do. Huh? That was quick, boss. Someone Morgana? for me? Oh my god! Mona? What are you doing here? He's just a cat now. I, I mean, didn't you disappear? Looks like the only me that disappeared was the one in the metaverse. Huh? So, you stayed in reality as a cat? When I woke up, I was out in Shibuya looking like this. That don't make any sense, though! I mean, if you were alive, you should have come back right away! I... It was right after I had said goodbye. It would have been awkward to come back so soon. I guess you weren't expecting to live through it either. It seems he finally learned how to be tactful. <gasps> He's grown! I knew you guys had found your witness, so I was just waiting for him to get discharged. Well done on that, seriously. You pulled it off even without my help. You've already returned to your normal, conceited self? I'm sorry I worried you all. Oh, can I borrow the shower before you all rush to hug me? I was stray for so long, I think I might smell. This ain't the time for a shower, you stupid cat! Even Ryuji missed you, dude. Give us our tears back! You are unforgivable. But a harsh welcome. <laughs> this is how it should be. Matters are finally back to normal. Huh. Right. It's great that you're back and all, but what are you gonna do now? Huh? Well, I've been thinking. About what? How to become human, of course. Oh, really? Might have learned that I'm not a human now, but that doesn't mean I can't turn into one. You're a cat. Plus, I think there's a reason I survived like this. I think the metaverse is still existent. Regardless, I'm glad to see you're safe. Now this is just a guess. But I think I'm still here because you all remained cognitive of me. Even after the world's distortions disappeared, 
You kept me in your minds. <laughs> that means you guys think there's a place for me in the real world. Of course! This is where you belong, Mona! <laughs> She's correct. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry for butting in and all. But we heard from Boss. You're going back home next month? Can't you stay here? Sure, we proved you're not guilty, but people are still gonna label you there, aren't they? Ain't it just gonna be uncomfortable going back? Still a minor. What's the matter? We were all so excited a moment ago. How about this? If our leader is leaving, the Phantom Thieves are truly disbanding, correct? We all have our phone information. We can still face chat or whatever. Today, we can celebrate his release and commemorate the day of our disbandment. <laughs> what kind of commemoration is that? <laughs> I was serious when I said it. It sounds like a good idea to me. I guess you're right. We just gotta double our excitement for today. Ahem. I know this is sudden, but I've decided to go with him. He's pretty special after all. If I stay by him, I might be able to figure out how I can become human too. You like my bag, don't you? Plus, we need someone there in case he turns back into a delinquent. Well, I'm counting on you. Leave it to me. Either way, I want you guys to add my farewell party to the one we're having tonight. I don't know. Is that important? <laughs> You're not leaving for another month, right? It is far too early for a farewell party. That'll just muddy the purpose of this celebration. Then it could be my comeback party. Nobody can complain about that, right? I demand sushi! Sushi! Yeah, you never got your fatty tuna. Man, you guys are loud. I could hear you from outside. Oh, I was wondering why I heard meowing. The cat's back. Chief, they're so mean. <sighs> Noisy as always. Hey, I'm not some normal cat. I can't understand what you're saying to me, you know. Here. No, I would much rather have sushi than something like... <clears throat> this is delicious! <laughs> what an assertive little guy. I wonder where he got that from. Igor. If Morgana becomes human, he may end up just like him. Oh, I can see that. Totally possible. Me be like him? Well, that wouldn't be so bad. I definitely don't want to be like Ryuji, though. What was that? It's things like that. You get angry so fast. Oh, and you're vulgar. <laughs> you little... Why don't you go disappear again? <sighs> Shut up! We're supposed to be celebrating, not fighting! They're at it again. The world's changed, but you guys are the same as ever. Seriously, that weirdo Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? Yusuke, buddy. I love you, you're a cool guy, but you're weird. In any case, we're all here. Let's kick this party off! <sighs> Very well. Tojiro, I want sushi! Right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Well, the day after, as I'm reporting this. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young, ooh boy. <laughs> yep, 
Yo. Right back at you, Ryuji. You alone too? Yeah, don't remind me. Happy National Singles Day! Come on in. It'll be my treat today. Hey, take over for me. Enjoy. I don't want to be a part of this loser's meeting. He's off somewhere. Didn't have anywhere else to go. Here, let's sit. First Christmas, now Valentine's Day. Why ain't I getting any chocolates? Because you're an asshole. I called Yusuke before heading over here, and even he got some. Well, he's probably got the attention of a lot of girls. I mean, the dude's a freak. But he's also an artist. Yeah. And I don't? Not really. Besides, why isn't Mishima here too? Perhaps Mishima oh, has a girlfriend? He. Well, he's been hanging out with Oya a lot. Did he betray us? Should we call him? Nah, it'd be awkward as hell if we did. What are you thinking, dude? <clears throat> Do you even like chocolate? It's not the point. Oh, but... I like chocolate all right, but I can't eat a whole lot of it. it turns I was in my stomach. I was buying convenience store, and the shopkeeper lady gave me this. Here, you can have it. Is this a confession? Oh, dude, hell no! <laughs> hey, now that I think about it, Aren't our girls kind of cold? I mean, we were on the same team. They should have at least got us some kind of teammate chocolate or something. <sighs> Seriously. I prefer lover's chocolate. Well, yeah, but don't exactly got that, now do we? <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. Yes, heroes ain't always popular with the chicks, huh? I wonder if I'll get a girlfriend before I graduate high school. I didn't. Ryuji's chocolate heals SP. Even split. All the way to the end. Hey, you're finally ticking off tomorrow. Yep. Sojiro said you don't have to help out here today. Go and see your friends before you leave. Okay. Off you go then. Try not to cry! <laughs> I could say the same thing to you, Futaba. Oh. Hmm? Here. <laughs> Take care, Futaba. Even after we're just looking at the painting. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, what's up? I don't really care, but good luck to you. Let's 
head to the station. Oh wait, let's go to the clinic first. Oh! Nijima! Hello. Thanks for everything. <laughs> A business card. <laughs> of course I'm gonna say goodbye to the clinic lady. Ryuji will probably be in the arcade, but I need to say goodbye to EY and probably sell the final treasures. I don't think I'll know. I don't know if I'll be able to, though. Later. Later. Oh, I guess I can't. Can I at least try this? Oh, come on! Ryuji is probably in the arcade. Mm, I don't see him. Uh, let me out, damn it! Takamaki's usually in the underground mall. I can never remember how to actually get there, so... She's not here. Maybe at the school gate? I can picture Makoto being here. But where are they? Do I just have to go to the station? I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. It's not giving me any direction. Shibuya. This is Shibuya. Wait, they're probably at... The old hideout. I don't know where they are. That's to the underground mall. I never did go to that lottery shop. Let's just see what that is. Mm 
Apparently I can't. But I don't even know where I'm going. See someone in Shinjuku and Akihabara. Oh yeah, there's. Oh yeah, it's probably at the bar. kid might be at the arcade. I'm not seeing Mishima. He's not here. Yeah, but where are they? Ifumi's not here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm sure. Okay, apparently I just go back through here. Let's go home. Hmm. Morgana's scarf. Wanna head back? Well, none of my friends are out and around. So, that's the end. My you finished goodbyes. saying your goodbyes? I guess so. Well, how'd it go? Did it make you feel like you want to stay? It's hard to say. I see. I guess you did almost die. Plus, whatever other crazy stuff I don't know about. You're leaving early tomorrow from Shibuya, right? Make sure you pack up before you head to sleep. Oh, and take that stupid cat with you. I don't want it getting lost and ending up back here. Don't make fun of me. I can go wherever I want all by myself. Huh. <sighs> It really never stops meowing, huh? Hey, Futaba, what's he saying? Is he sad that he has to leave me? He said, Sojiro's stupid. What? <laughs> what kind of translation is that? Let me have a nice goodbye. <laughs> Mona's your responsibility now. Leave Sojiro to me. You're his responsibility. Isn't that the other way around? That's not true. I'll take really good care of him. Oh, boy. Even if you're not here, I'll make sure I do my best. So, you go do your best, too. <sighs> Thank you for everything. Everything? When I took you in, I thought I was the one helping you. But it turns out it was the other way around. Take care. You too. Don't be so cheeky. Oh, sorry. I wanted to have Futaba see you off too. I haven't been able to find her since this morning, though. Same with that cat. 
you end up back in the city, come on by. I'll at least treat you to a nice cup of coffee. Thank you. Wait, that means I can't go closing this door, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Hurry up and go. I am grateful. Thank you for everything. Yeah. What did he just do? After we said we disband, my word. Huh? Yusuke. <laughs> they got a Sorry van. Sorry about the weird parking job. The engine just died on us right here. Hey, Morgana, are you done yet? Hmm. Why the heck am I in charge of the car again? And I thought we were done. It's fine. We're on break. Exams are done too, right? Yeah. Come on, why don't you let us drive you home? You really, really gotta go? Right, so. Come on, man. Nobody's forcing you to leave, you know. Wiping well, your Joker's slate still clean a minor. ain't so easy. You see what I mean? Mm hmm? Things must be slow these days. Don't mind them. What they think of us doesn't really matter. Yeah, she's right. We can totally do whatever we want to do. <laughs> <laughs> the car's fixed. Just had to borrow a plug. <laughs> nice job on the first. He stole try. a spark plug from the cop car. All didn't right, he? let's roll. I like how Mona ended up in Joker's lap. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna lose it. It was fine just a second ago. <laughs> Anyways, now that we got gotcha, you, we ain't taking you straight home. Hey, can I ask something? My friend's in trouble, and I'd like everyone's input. Ooh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> if this is any more work, count me out. You know you want to, Inari. I'm getting out. Why'd you open the whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let me hey, off. Stop moving around. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, that was certainly an enjoyable experience. I think that ending dragged out just a little bit, but it was good. I really liked it. I'm glad I played this. Like I said, this is a really good game. You get the chance to play it, pick it up. You won't be disappointed. All I can say is, let the music play out. Thank you all for watching. I'm the Dark Seraph, signing off.
Man, it's weird. All this ain't feeling real to me just yet. Like, am I in a dream, you know? I wouldn't mind that. We're free to do whatever we want, after all. <laughs> I guess so. If you want to change the world, all you have to do is just look at it differently. Am I right? And that is what aesthetics are. <laughs> yeah.